So welcome back to another video and today we're going to be reviewing this REA Fusion 2 420 watt all black solar panel. We're going to tell you a little bit about REA, this panel, its performance and why you should consider it over any other panel on the market. So first of all, who are REA? Well, REA are an Australian panel manufacturer who specialise in bifacial technology. We'll come back to that later on in this video about what that means. But essentially, they're based in Australia and they've designed products for all around the world. And one of those products is this. This is the Fusion 2 420 watt bifacial. And this has been specifically designed and optimized for the UK environment. Now, in terms of the overall aesthetics of the panel, as you can see, it's an all black design. It's got an aluminium profile edge into it and it's got black cells. Where it looks a little bit different on the screen right now is these intermediate sections look white. That's simply because we've got a light behind here to show you one of the features of the panel. These are actually clear. As you can see, as I block them up, they turn to a darker color and when they're on your roof, you won't see any of the clear sections and it definitely won't look white. Dimensions wise, they're a pretty standard size. So I think they're 1123 millimeters wide and 1722 millimeters tall. Depth wise, they're only 30 millimeters. So they're quite a shallow panel. Um, and in terms of the construction of the panel, it's much like any other panel from the front. You've got a single glazed sheet here. You've got the receptors and an encasement in an aluminium frame. Now where this panel is different is what's going on behind. So essentially this is called a bifacial panel, which means it's got receptors on both sides. So we capture light here on this side of the panel, but we also capture it on the back of the panel as well. And that's what explains, or that's the reason for rather, we have these clear intermediate sections. That's to allow light through so it can be harvested and converted to energy on the back. So let's spin the panel round and we can show you what's going on behind. Okay, so this is the reverse of our panel and this is where things start to get a little bit different. So usually on a solar panel, on the back here, you'd have a plastic backing sheet that glues to the receptors and then that is then glued to the outer glass face. With this panel, it's actually a double glazed unit. So what that means is there's no risk of delamination from the front glass. And that's why generally mono panels will come with a 10 or a 15 year warranty because what's likely to happen over time is weather erodes the panel and that back sheet starts to separate. With this unit, it's fully enclosed and double glazed. Now behind this glazing, this is where we've got the cell receptors. So when you saw the panel from the front, it was a black panel and it looked pretty slick. Behind, it's got a bluish tint to it. And that's because blue is a better color or a better uh, light absorber to convert energy from the sun into solar. So we have that on the rear here, because obviously you can't see it when it's on the roof. It just gives it a bit more efficiency. So essentially what happens is light can get around this panel when it's on the mounting system on the roof. Light is in the atmosphere and that surrounds the panel and that's picked up on the back as well. But where the main benefit comes from is as the solar rays hit the panel, they'll transfer through through these intermediate sections and that's where we pick up that extra bit of performance. And obviously another benefit of having the receptors on the back means that this panel performs well in high temperatures. So you'll get about 5% more performance when the sun is really intense. And that's because as the front drops off with the heat, the back is gonna then start doing some of that leg work and supplementing the overall power to the panel. So this panel doesn't suffer from overheating and poor performance. And also another benefit is the long-term degradation. So over a 25 year period, this panel performance will drop 9% less than a standard mono panel. So that really does start to pay for itself in the long run. What we're gonna do now is turn the panel around again I'm going to talk you through some more of the benefits and the features of these REA Fusion 2s. Okay, so we've taken a look at the front of the panel and we've also taken a look at the back to see those rear receptors. But what other features of this panel are going to give you the extra performance in your home? 
Well, they're going to come from the fact that this panel has been designed by REA around these, and these are microinverters. So unlike a traditional system, you might have 10 panels on your roof, they're all connected together, and one wire goes to a central inverter. With this system, this panel has been designed around these, and these actually sit behind each panel. So you'll no longer have a central inverter, you'll have an inverter behind every one of your panels. What that does to your system is turns each panel into its own individual power plant. And you can see the performance of the panels individually. Where it really works is in shaded conditions. So if you've got a chimney on your roof, you've got some trees in the distance, the whole array isn't going to be dragged down by one panel being partially shaded and the rest of them then drop performance. With this system, they're all individual power plants and they're not linked to each other. Now you might think on your roof, I haven't got much shading, you know, I've got no trees nearby, but there are other areas where these efficiencies come in. And that's even such as like cloud cover, crossing the sun in the sky. If you've got quite a wide array, one panel gets hit with some cover, the whole array performance drops on a string inverter. With this system, that end one may drop, but the others will still be working at 100% as that cloud passes over. Another benefit of using a microinverter over a string inverter is the activation when we convert the energy from DC to AC. So with a solar panel, when you capture the sun, or the sun's energy rather, that is captured and converted into DC, direct current. In our homes, we can't use DC because our appliances and our electrical systems are wired up for AC, alternating current. So we have to convert it and that's the job of your inverter. Now to do that, it takes energy just to convert the energy from DC to AC. With a microinverter, that's only 22 volts, so you get much faster startup. If you compare that to something like a traditional string inverter, that would be over 200 volts just to get activation to convert the energy. And that's why this panel paired with this inverter will turn on earlier shut down later and give you more production across the day. Now in some testing that we've done, we've got two arrays on the same roof facing the same way. One is a DC system using a string inverter and one are these panels using these microinverters and we get between 15 and 18% more production over a 24 hour period with this system compared to the string inverter. That's a massive efficiency gain and improves the overall performance of your system and shortens the payback period. On the subject of power and peak power, this panel is rated at 420 watts. Now that's on the front sheet, the back sheet is rated, you can get an additional 10 to 15% depending on the light that's traveling through the panel. But when you see a peak wattage setting or a rating for a panel, what that's done is under something called STC, so that's standard test conditions, which essentially means they put the panel in a laboratory, they put a light source on it, and they'll produce a thousand watts per meter squared. And then what that will give them is an overall performance rating for that panel. Now, what this means is if your panel's rated at 420 watt, to get 420 watt, it would need a thousand watts of energy per meter. Now here in the UK, that's pretty unlikely. There are moments throughout the year where you'll get that for sort of 10, 15 seconds, or maybe a few minutes, but generally, the average wattage for the UK is sort of six to 700 watts a meter. So just by putting a 420 watt panel outside doesn't mean you're gonna get 420 watts. Where this panel has been optimized for the UK environment is its efficiency window has been moved to the center of the panel. So it's designed to capture light at very low output. And it's also means, what that means is it can turn and activate this inverter. So that wouldn't really be that useful using this panel with a string inverter because activating and capture energy at a low setting is pointless. It can't turn the inverter on and you can't use that energy in your home. With a microinverter, we can take advantage of that low light, that cloud cover, produce energy, 
convert it to AC and use that in our homes. And the final piece of efficiency comes on this panel from its 16 wire cell design. So a traditional panel would usually have four or eight wires. This panel has 16. And in a nutshell, what that means is it can capture more energy, but it can also transit that energy more efficiently to the receptors that then go into your inverter. Okay, so we've covered the aesthetics, we've covered the dimensions, we've covered the construction and the bifacial design. Now we need to move on to another important section of this review, which is the warranty. So if you buy a traditional DC panel that has a plastic back sheet, you'll generally get a 10 or a 15 year product warranty and you might get a 25 year performance warranty. The difference between those two warranties is one of them, the product is the construction and essentially the product staying in one piece and performing. The performance warranty is if the product stays in one piece for that 15 year period, it will perform a set performance metric. With this panel, because of the double glazed design and it's fully enclosed, REA given an insurance backed 25 year product warranty, but also a 30 year performance warranty. Now what that means is once you've put these panels on your roof, you've not got to think about them again for 25 years. That compared to a DC system, you may have to replace those panels in as little as 10 or 15 years. Now as an added benefit when you buy this system through Heatable and we put the end phase microinverters behind the panel, you'll also get a 25 year limited warranty on the inverters too. So again, traditional string system, you might get a 5, 10, maybe a 15 year warranty. Out of the box with end phase, you get 25 year inverter guarantee. So all your equipment is installed, insured and protected for a 25 year period. So hopefully that was a useful review about these REA Fusion 2 panels. Now, if you're interested in having solar installed in your property and you wanna get access to these panels, those end phase microinverters, then head over to heatable.co.uk and we'll be able to give you a fixed price to have this product with those inverters installed on your roof in as little as two weeks.